Good evening. Uh, let's do a video on uh, another test for elasticity. And first, I wanted to show you something um, that's a good graphical way of uh, taking a look. So just recall that the uh, price elasticity uh, of demand is the ch percent change in uh -oh, uh, quantity demanded over the percent change in the price. Okay. Now, um, what we're really looking at here. Pretend that's a little straighter there. So this is price. This is quantity, right? So say we've got something like this, right? Much more straighter there. It's like doing some weird dot things. Okay. So if I lower the price by this much, okay, I'm gonna see this big of a uh, change and so I don't really need to do too much math on this because I can see that the percent change is lower than the than the increase in quantity demand in other words uh, this number is going to go up by a greater amount than this number right so that's going to be a number higher than one so this is a more elastic demand curve right and so one way to, to look at this is when they're very flat, when they're very stretchy, uh, if we put a hat on our graph and we kind of imagine uh, what's going on here. I wonder if I can erase this stuff here, sort of. I need the hard eraser. I don't have the hard eraser there. Um, you know, it, it kind of looks like a capital E. Okay, so that's one way to look at it. Okay, then another way to look at it. I wonder if I have a hard eraser. Oh, there we go. Hard eraser. There we go. Now I'm playing with power here. This is watch me erase things. That's awesome. Um, okay, this curve is the more inelastic demand curve, and so let's let's lower the price here. I'm just having trouble with this pen. I'm really need to invest in another one. Well, I haven't done that yet. But. Okay, so this price drop has not caused an equal uh, increase in the quantity demanded. So that means that the uh, denominator is going to be higher than the numerator and we're in a number, number less than one. Okay, This is inelastic demand and if we put a hat on our graph here we can see it's kind of a capital I. Okay, So that's kind of a useful uh, trick to kind of sizing these up. Right? Okay, so you go through more of it. Now there's another test uh, that, that kind of gets at what I was just doing. Um, it's called the revenue test. Okay, so the formula for revenue, uh, or total revenue, is price times quantity demanded. Okay, and so what we find here is if an increase in price causes an increase in total revenue, then we're going to know that the demand is inelastic. And I'll ask you to do this uh, lots of times. I think, I think this is a more useful application of elasticity. Really, um, tells you what you can do with your price. So if I have an inelastic demand on my product. I should raise my price a little bit to make more revenue. Okay, that's what we're after, right? And if a price increase causes a decrease in total revenue, in other words, I'm going to make less money, then that's elastic. Okay, and uh, it says Klein draw this. Well, I guess I don't need to do that because uh, I've got it over here on on this. Okay, so um, this is the price going from P1 to P2. If we do that, we're going to lose. So we're going to lose this revenue box because remember, revenue is price times quantity. So at P1, we get this whole uh, rectangle right here. Okay. Now at P2, uh, we're going to lose that rectangle, but we're going to gain this rectangle. Okay. Because it's elastic, I'm getting more uh, total revenue. Right. So the total revenue is going to go up. So if you're facing an elastic demand curve, you need to push your price as low as possible. Uh, relative to your costs, and you're going to make more money. Okay, so that was what it looks like graphically. Here's what it looks like um, with a couple examples here. So this is uh, price times quantity. So we can just kind of work these out here. Um, so that's four times twenty. That's eighty. Three times thirty. That's ninety. Two times sixty. One twenty. And one hundred and fifty. So I wonder if this is going to animate here. Oh, look at that. Uh, okay, so. As we raise the price, we're making less revenue. Okay, 
uh, and so that means that this is an elastic demand curve or vice versa as I lower my price I make more revenue okay so this is firm facing an elastic demand then down here we've got price times quantity so 4 times 50 is 200 3 times 60 is 180 2 times 75 is 150 and uh, one is that's just a hundred. So this firm, as they raise their price, they're making more revenue. Or conversely, if they lower their price, they're making less revenue. So this is elastic. Okay. Now, if they're if they're excuse me not changing at all, then we know that's unitary elastic. But um, here, I, here I care about it, right? So you know, if 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 I know that I have an inelastic demand, and I want to make more money. I need to raise my price. I mean, think through that. Th this is really why we study this, right? This is the powerful part. So this is called the revenue test, right? Just think about what's happening in total revenue. And, and always remember where total revenue came from. It's price times quantity, okay? I'll leave you with this. This is from The Economist magazine. And uh, so these are some products that are, we know are very expensive. Uh, and I want you to think about this. Why is it that uh, printer ink it has an inelastic demand curve. Okay? And printer ink is very expensive. And uh, if I'm running a company that sells printer ink, right? first of all, I want to be in this business. right? You get a high price uh, facing an inelastic demand. I want to push my price higher. right? And so I'll make more money, uh, more revenue at least. Okay? Maybe not more profit, but uh, work, through, work through that for you. And, uh, and that's where I'm going to end here.